you to help me today. Hey, Squirt, you're in trouble. Don't call me Squirt. Miriam, you've got a lot of responsibilities now that you're a big sister. You have more to think about than just yourself. Now please go get your... baby brother. Well, come on. Everyone wants to meet you. Isn't the baby adorable? The baby's adorable. Such a strong looking baby takes after my side of the family. Father, I don't know whether I see such a baby as this. Why is everyone saying the baby? Can't they just say he? <laughs> Miriam, I want you to help feed the baby. Do I have to? You'll be taking care of the baby while we're working, so it's never too early to learn. Oh. <laughs> Don't worry, sweetheart. That's just what babies do. All right. Happy's over. Time to get back to work. Oh, isn't that sweet? Another baby's been born. Oh, another baby? Let me guess. Another baby girl? <laughs> oh, the girl it is. Hmm. All right, let's go to the brickyard. To the brickyard with all of you. You know, statistically speaking, you'd expect to see a baby boy or two. No matter what, you can't let the guards find out that he's a boy. But why? Miriam, please. This is the most important thing you'll ever do. The Pharaoh's guards must never find out. I'll explain later. That's a good girl. What is it, Miriam? Mom, it's just that you never have time for me anymore. Miriam, I would love to stay home with you and the baby, but I can't. Now take care of yourself and the baby until we get back tonight. Here you go, little baby. Catch the ball. I used to get all the attention till you came along. What good are you? Ugh, not again. What can a baby do? What can a baby do? You puny pip. You can't do zip, but lay around and coo. Coo. Too small to walk, can't even talk. Oh, please learn something new. I'd like a pet, but what I get is not a dog, but you. You sit and drool, oh, so not cool. What's all the hoop to do? What can a baby do? Oh, what can a baby do? I can't have fun, because I'm the one who's stuck all day with... Aha! Uh -huh. 
changing the baby's diaper. <laughs> Go back to sleep, sweetheart. Everything's fine. I worked so hard today. Oh, I know you did, and thank you. But this is what you have to do for the family now. I liked it better when I was the baby. Well, now you're the big sister. And being a family means taking care of each other. Mom, do you still love me, too? <laughs> of course, sweetheart. Nothing has changed. Just like we still had enough love for your big brother, Aaron, after you came along. That's different. Not at all. Now get some sleep. Tomorrow's another big day. You watch the baby again for me, won't you? Mm, I'll do it for you, Mom. And that's my girl. Then the Papa Sphinx said, Who's been eating my hummus? <laughs> Hey, Squirt, you missed a spot. Stop calling me Squirt! Princess coming through! Make my Rousey Princess! Yeah, I'm okay. Now, get out of here before there's trouble! Ooh, who did that? Uh, it was my fault. Double duty at the brickyards! No one stands in the way of the princess! Let's go! Aaron, why did you do that? Up with you! Up with you now! It's getting more dangerous. It's not safe for the baby anymore. Why? What are they doing? It's time she knew, dear. The Pharaoh's afraid of us. There are so many Hebrews in Egypt now that he's afraid we might take over the country. So now, they are taking away all the baby boys. That's why we've asked you to watch out for the baby. The same way Aaron watched out for me? But this is silly. They're just babies. We know, sweetheart. That's what we pray for every night. We can't keep the baby here anymore. It's just not safe. But where else can we hide him? It's got to be somewhere the Pharaoh's guards would never look. I think I know a place. All right, little guy. We've got to be there. keeping him. I'm gonna call him like Moses because we drew him up out of the water. So how do you like take care of one of these things? Whoa. Uh, excuse me, princess? Yeah, huh? If it pleases your majesty, I think I could find someone to take care of this baby. Moses? Excellent! Bring him back when he can like walk and stuff. And if any of you are ever like harsh to him, I'll have your heads. 
so how's that with work? And the princess said you could stay home and take care of him. You don't have to work in the brickyards anymore. God answered our prayers. Our little Moses is safe. Miriam, we are so proud of you. I just love my little brother, is all. <laughs> <laughs> and now it's time for The Blues with Larry, the part of the show where Larry comes out and sings the blues. Hey, everybody. I'm going to lay down some blues. All sunshine and roses. No rain came my way. I said... All sunshine and roses, no rain came my way. Mm -mm. My dad bought me ice cream. Oh, happy, 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 happy day. I ate up that ice cream. you doing? I'm singing the blues. Oh man, the blues is for singing when you feel sad. But I don't feel sad. And you got no business singing the blues. Here, let me help you out. Take this. Cool, ice cream. Thanks. Now give me back that ice cream. You took my ice cream. You took it from me. You took my ice cream. You took it away from me. Oh, yeah. Now you're getting it. Now listen up. But I'm still not sad. I'll just have a cookie. No, 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 man. You almost had it. Come on, like this. You took away my ice cream. Now try it again. My cookies and ice cream, they both gone away. That's right. Mm -hmm. Feel it. My cookies and ice cream, they both gone away. Oh, sweet, man. Sweet. But that don't bother me none. My freshly baked strudel. What? <laughs> Man, I guess it's true in the blues. I don't even cry. Well, what about poodle? Because I got a poodle. Oh, no, don't tell me you're going to eat that poodle. No, I'm just going to pet him. Pet poodles makes me happy. <laughs> Sorry, man. You way too happy to sing the blues. Hello. Would you like to poker? Sure! Don't got no ice cream, no cookies, no strudel. Don't got no ice cream, no cookies, no strudel. But I'm your lady, your lady, your lady happy too. Just here with my poodle. That's right! Oh yeah, I'm your lady, your lady, your lady happy too. Just me and my poodle. This has been the Blues with Lev. Tune in next time to... Oh, never mind. Larry's not likely to be singing the blues again anytime soon. i
princess and the duke, and a mother-in-law who's related to the princess who has the end of the story becomes related to the duke. It's kind of complicated. It happened once upon a taking all comers in the annual jousting tournament, if any of you are up for the challenge, which I know you are. Thank you, Novak. Remember, lads, this is the training that could save your life when facing a rhubarbarian. Watch out for yourself. There's not a nice one among them. Soup's ready. It's water soup. <laughs> Again. Mm-hmm. With water sauce. <laughs> sweet, sweet, Petunia. You have been so kind to me all these years. And you to me, Mother. In law? Yes, I know. But you've been just like a mother to me, Nona. What if it isn't the Rue Barbarian? Go back to your own kingdom, Rue Barbarian! Nona, I don't really seem to fit in since our arrival here in Scone. We've become very poor, and everyone is rather mean to me here. Sweet, sweet, Petunia, could you get that apple for me? Of course. It's that new surf music. Lucas, 
why are we taking this path back home? We don't have to check on my orchards. Harvest was last week. I told you this morning, sire. Uh, Nona has moved back to town, and she wanted you to stop by. Nona? My second cousin? Yeah, twice removed. Oh, look, uh, there she is now. Wow, Nona sure has changed. Uh, sire, Nona is the short one. Oh, well then, who's the tall, kind one? Uh, that would be Petunia. Uh, but, Sire, I advise you not to have anything to do with her. After all, she is a rhubarbarian. Oh, pish posh, Lucas. The war's old news. Look how kind she is. Why, Duke, Duke, what a surprise. Why, hello, Nona. It's good to see you. By the way, have I introduced you to sweet, sweet Petunia? She has been caring for me since our return. Oh, Duke, Duke. Nona has told me so much about you. Uh, soup? Well, there's not much, but we will gladly share it with you. Why, thank you. Oh, no. Oh. oh. I I'll get it. Oh. 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 No. <laughs> no. I'm sorry. Oh, no. excuse no, I'm, me. I I'm such an oaf. L let me make it up to you. What do you need, my lady? Anything at all? Oh, nothing really, sire. Yes, especially since we live in the tree stump with no food to speak of. We don't need anything. Nothing at all. Sire, love and war. Remember the war? Nonsense. The least I can do is let you gather leftover apples from my orchards here. You can take whatever you like. Oh, I thank you. You really are too kind, Duke. Duke. Oh, no need for formality. You can call me Duke. <laughs> oh, bye, Duke. Duke. I mean, Duke. <laughs> Bye-bye, sweet, sweet Petunia! Uh, sire, you are getting rather friendly with that foreign girl. Uh, you know how the citizens of Scone are toward anyone being friendly to a rhubarbarian. Ah, oh, Lucas, you're overreacting. No, that, that's nonsense. I'm sure that was just an accident. No, it wasn't! How many rhubarbarians does it take to change a light bulb? I don't know. How many rhubarbarians... Uh, what's a light bulb? I don't know. But if I did, I'm sure it would not change my negative opinion of rhubarbarians. <laughs> <laughs> I'd better go. Things will only get worse for you if you're seen with me. No, no, things will be fine. I'll be... Oh, oh are you okay? Uh, yeah, I'm okay. Uh, you dropped your hat. You know me. Oh, here you go. <laughs> oh, I get it. Oh, are you oh, okay? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> oh, goodbye. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Missed the door. <laughs> Bye. I got my hat now. <laughs> <laughs> she is somewhat clumsy for a princess, no? What? Petunia is a princess? But it goes. Excuse me, Nona. I don't mean to pry, but if Petunia is a princess, why are you two so poor? It's complicated. I'll explain later. Um, it kind of is later. Oui. Let's go to the book. Page! It all started before the Great Pie War. As you know, I once had a husband, the brave and noble Gildersleeve the Invincible. And we had a son, Ryan, the only slightly less invincible. Oh, did I mention that my son Ryan, noble citizen of Scorn, married sweet, sweet Petunia, the princess of rhubarb? Petunia's married? No, hold on to your horses. There's more. You see, when our son married the rhubarbarian princess, we all went to live in rhubarb. But before we left, Gildersleeve provided for his brother by giving him half of the golden crest. It was the key to his castle. Half? Why don't you just come out and say you don't trust me? All right, I don't trust you. The other half was the key to the great vault. This he kept for me. Then things got bad. The armies of Rhubarb went to war against the Kingdom of Scone. The Great Pie War has begun. As you know, Gildersleeve and Ryan were neither invincible nor slightly less invincible. Wow, I never knew. But why didn't you stay in the Kingdom of Rhubarb if Petunia was a princess? Page! 
Antonia's family welcomed her, but not me. To them, I was the enemy. But Petunia was so compassionate to me. She sacrificed living as a princess to come and take care of me. Wow, you're right. How's that? This is complicated. So, you're forced to live in a tree stump because of Gildersleeve's brother. He only looks out for himself. I'm so sorry. I wish there was something I could do to help you get the other half of that crest. No, no. Bye, Duke. Voila! <laughs> oh, Petunia! Sorry, Nona. I'll get dinner right away. How's apple fricassee? Fine, dear. But first, I have something for you. I want you to have this. You need it more than I do. But, Nona, the key to the vault? Oh, this is too great a treasure. I... Can never repay me? Well, I think Duke will help you with that. Duke? What does Duke have to do with anything? You just give it to him and ask him to joust for you in the tournament. Give it to Duke? Trust me, dear. Oh! Oh, P Petunia, I didn't see you there. <laughs> Tell him you think he's nice. I... nice? Oh... You sure are. Y you're really nice. You're one of the nicest people I know. Tell him. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Duke, uh, I think you're nice, too. You do? Well, I, uh, now, I... Now, a crest. What's this? I want you to joust for me at the tournament to win the other half of the crest from Gildersleeve's brother. What? The family. Mention the family. If... If Gildersleeve's brother won't look out for family, you must. Me? For you? Well, you're known as second cousin. Twice removed. Duke, I know this is a lot to ask, but I want... Ahem. Uh, I need you to joust for me. Well then, yes! Yes? Yes, of course I'll joust for you. I'd do anything for you, Petunia. Even if I had to joust... Otis the Elevated! By the way, who is Gildersleeve's brother anyway? Otis the Elevated. Otis, I've come to challenge you to a joust! <laughs> huh? <clears throat> a joust? Winner gets both halves of the duck. Both halves, huh? If you won't take care of family, I will. You think I got where I am by looking out for others? Looking out for others is for saps! <laughs> no, looking out for others is true love. <laughs> I've seen you train. You're on! <laughs> Ladies, lords, and peasants, we are gathered to witness a contest between Otis the Elevated and Duke, Duke. The winner gets the golden crest to Gildersleeve's castle with all the treasure that lies within. And if they act now, we'll include this lovely set of Ginsu knives. The contest shall consist of three tests worthy of a knight. First, the implausibly arduous obstacle course of peril. By right of elevation, Otis the Elevated shall go first.
Too good for Duke. And now, the hurling catapults of slime! To see who's the smartest, the Abbot of Costello will ask a riddle. The first to solve it sends his opponent into a bucket of slime. There are three members of the royal family with strange names. Sir Who, Prince What, and Lady I Don't Know. They want to board a ferry to cross a treacherous river. Taking into account their rank, what would be the reverse order in which they should board the ferry? Wait, you, you want to know who's on first? Correct. Next. What? Absolutely correct. And third? I don't know. Correct. Wait, who went third? Wrong. <laughs> Tied Otis. There will be a third contest: the joust with the pies of doom. A head-to-head -head competition to prove who is the best. You are going to lose everything. Sire, no one would blame you if you backed out now. After all, she is a Rue Barbarian. Go back to your own kingdom, Rue Barbarian! Think about it. Are you really willing to take a pie for Petunia? Lucas, she has no family to look out for her. I have to think of her first. For Petunia! For family! Folks, you are lucky, Duke, but watch out for yourself this time. No, Otis, I'm looking out for someone else first. That's true love. That's crazy. Take care of you forever. Family? Forever? I now pronounce you Duke and Duchess. You may now join the halves of the duck.
real gold? Oh, excuse me. No, I, I, I can get it. it. No, no, allow, allow me. Oh, excuse me. I got it. Love, love, true, true love. The